all right what is up youtube back again with another video for you guys today and today guys i'm gonna show you guys the car i put everything back already um you guys already saw the car but um you know we got everything back together this car is ready to get painted man we're gonna go ahead and start sanding it i'm gonna show you guys a little preview if you guys remember that paint i used on the on the rims for the budget fixes coupe now we found a similar paint it's the same brand but it's uh it's like basically the same color as this the, it's silver so it's called metallic silver and it has a little like a a flake to it metal flake to it so i went ahead and i had sanded i had just scuffed this uh bumper uh fender up and i sprayed it just to just to get an idea of how it was gonna look and check this out guys check this out look at that sparkle you see that that's from a can guys so that like and i thought it looked good on the on the rims so now imagine it on the whole car so right here i haven't sanded it down so i just this is just like me testing it this is not sanded down that's why we got that run there but um yeah guys honestly i can't wait to paint this car and see how it turns out so um right as of now i'm just going to give you guys a quick walkthrough show you just giving you like a, a whole 360 view of the car so you guys can compare the before and after so we are going to be sanding this car with um 220 grit to scuff it up and then we might hit it with the 400 grit i'm not sure depending on how it looks with the 220 grit if it looks all right you know like we can paint it and shit we'll paint it but for now you know it's let's get with the walkthrough side note also i actually sprayed the little piece there just to just to see how it looks too so don't judge me on this i know it looks ugly but I just wanted to see if um the paint was gonna blend in well with the black and stuff and it did so you see we gotta get some covers too for the wheels but it's not too bad that's obviously like the first coat so it's not gonna look good when we're still gonna sand all this so it's all good so all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the walkthrough right now all right so you guys saw what was up with this car now so um uh, yeah guys i guess i'll see you guys in a bit once i start sending the car i'm not gonna send tonight because i got some other stuff i have to do but next time you guys see me we will be sending this car down with the 220 grit and yeah guys i'm so excited can't wait for you guys to see how the car turns out all right what is the youtube welcome back so i already went ahead and got started uh sending just a little bit not too much um right here i just kind of scuffed it up and then i moved over to the side and I, I didn't even finish any of this but i did uh finish this for sure all this is already sanded down so is this and i was going to try to remove the tail lights to make it easier but um i had to take off the whole rear bumper and honestly i'm not even trying to do all that so i'm just gonna sand around it and then hopefully i don't scuff up the tail light but yeah guys a little progress a little progress going so uh, i'm just gonna continue sanding these doors right here and i'll be back with you guys so i'm gonna give you i'm gonna be giving you guys little updates because i don't want to record me just sanding because it's literally just me sanding so um i'll give you guys little updates once i'm done with this side of the car then once we're moving forward and all that stuff so um we are using 220 grit and i am sending this by hand i'm just literally all i'm doing is this guys i'm just scuffing it up um just like that you know and uh, i had one of the older panels one of the previous the other the old trunk i i sanded it down just like that with the 220 grit 
I cleaned it and then I, I painted it with the paint I'm using and the paint stuck to it and you can't see any scratches on it. So honestly, that's what I'm gonna do with the whole car. I'm just gonna sand it with the 220 grit, make sure everything's good, rinse it, wash it, tape everything up and then get to painting guys. So um, I'll be back with you guys once I'm done sending this left side or passenger side and yeah guys, it's coming along, it's coming along. All right, YouTube, welcome back, welcome back. I got a last update now. I didn't record. <clears throat> I know I was gonna give you guys an update when I, once I finished that side, but I was listening to music and I was just in the zone. So I was just sanding and sanding. I lost track of time. And voila, finished the, finished the whole car. <laughs> so I went ahead and sanded everything down already. Um, so you guys can see everything's already done. It's all sanded got everything sanded down with the 220 grit and like i told you guys i just scuffed it i didn't you know go too much into like every single little crack so you know i might you know miss a little tiny crack like that but it's so whatever guys um i'm gonna take the car to the car wash rinse it all down dry it up and then um stop by the store and get some masking tape and paper so we can uh start masking the glass and all that stuff and the headlights tail lights all that good stuff so i'll be back with you guys once we for real for real start masking uh yeah guys thanks for watching all right guys so update time update time i went ahead and sanded it down i washed it last night today in the morning went ahead and removed the front bumper the headlights and the inner tail lights because in order to get these tail lights off i have to remove the whole rear bumper and i'm not trying to do that so we're gonna leave that like this tape those up get all this taped up and we're almost ready to get painted guys so um let me give you guys a walkthrough of how the car is supposed to look so you can see it's like really really ashy you see there are some spots that we missed like there's in, like there are some in-betweens where it's like still kind of glossy but honestly it's whatever i mean it, it should still stick the paint should still stick to the thing so like right here's a good example so you see how there's still some like tiny little streaks that should be fine guys as long as most of the area is scuffed up that should be enough for the paint to stick so i am not a professional so you know totally diy so you know it's all good <laughs> all right guys so yeah i'll be back with you guys once i tape everything up all right guys so we are now masking um all the windows i went ahead and started spraying the the um the side mirrors check that out hopefully you guys can see that looks pretty dope huh now if you guys remember um one of them was black if you guys remember we replaced one of them so it was that um black plastic and from, can you guys tell which one is uh which one's painted uh which one was the black one? It looks the same, right? So this one was actually the the black ABS plastic one. Uh, you can tell a slight, slight difference, but I gave it three coats and they look identical, you know, to the untrained eye. Or if you don't know that the car was painted or that the mirror was replaced, you honestly wouldn't be able to tell. So yeah, guys, I'm loving like there's no streaks no drifts no runs nothing guys i highly highly recommend this paint because it's like really really good especially if you're an amateur you know i'm not a professional i wouldn't even consider myself an amateur you know i'm just a beginner diy guy so check that out so yeah guys let me take you guys over here we already went ahead and started mask well i did started masking the the windows each door and then I'm, i still gotta figure something out for the for this but yeah guys we're almost done getting ready to paint I'm so excited all right guys so just a little mental note for you guys um when you guys get your uh masking tape make sure you get the good kind because i went to dollar general i mean it was pretty expensive it was a small roll and it was like four bucks to me that's expensive for tape but um Check it out. This thing like starting to like lift up by itself and like, I gotta keep rubbing it down, but it just keeps uh just lifting up. You know. Especially over here. See this bullshit? I mean, maybe I don't know how to fucking mask. This one came out good, okay. Okay. So maybe the the other one is 
partially my fault because I did a whole bunch of strips. But, um, you know, just make sure you do a good job because, um, you know, if you don't mask it good, um, like I know for a fact it's not going to come out perfect. You know, I'm not expecting it to be perfect. You know, I do know it's going to be better than what it is now. So that's, you know, that's good. But I know for sure it's not going to be perfect because my masking is not too good. So right here, you see this little gap. The little, so there's paint. Paint's going to get inside there. But I mean, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's still going to come out good. And that's how that matters. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and give the bumper its first coat so we're gonna wipe it down real quick with alcohol and uh get it cleaned up Right, so this little bottom grill part is, you can't take it out unless you cut it out. So if paint does get on it, it's okay, you know, we'll just go over it and paint it black once we're done painting the car. So we're not too worried about that. But um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the first coat. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys this little fish eye view so you guys can see a little bit better. I hope you guys were able to get a good uh, look of that. That was just like a quick coat, just to like, not really a mist coat, but it was like kind of like a decent coat. It wasn't too light and it wasn't too heavy as well. So yeah, guys. So we're gonna do a total of three coats per panel. So, so far the first coat is on there. I'm not sure if it's gonna fill in or paint these little black spots, but I hope it does. If not, you know, whatever it's not much we can do unless we want to sand it all again but you know ain't nobody got time for that all right guys so it's been about 10 minutes this is coat number two All right, guys, so this is coat number two. Getting a little bit better. I'm still not sure if it's gonna cover up these little black spots, but you know, if it doesn't, it's okay. It is what it is. Another update with the masking. We are all done with the windows. We went ahead and removed those little weather strips on the sides. I did my best to, uh, uh, mask the sunroof but it honestly is like keeps lifting up this fucking tape is garbage look at this you know so we'll see if anything if we do get paint on the glass or anything we can just freaking um use some paint thinner but 
yeah i'm gonna go ahead and mask the windshield and the the back windshield or whatever <laughs> and yeah guys hopefully um things go our way all right guys so we are officially ready to paint the car got the wheels i don't have any rims but still you know the tires <laughs> so we got everything um masked up and taped ready to paint so i'm just gonna um real quick off camera i'm gonna wipe the whole car down with alcohol and uh, make sure everything's clean dry and we can start throwing the paint on there as for this right here um i think i'm just gonna go over because i'm gonna paint it black either way the little chrome piece right there so i'll see if i change my mind i might just tape it right now but yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down set up the tripod the camera and then we can start painting the car all right guys so you guys can obviously hear the music in the background so what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna start from the top and i'm gonna time lapse the video that way you guys don't have to hear that music and i don't get copyrighted or anything so um yeah guys i apologize for all the background noise but i'm gonna start from the top we'll give that the first coat All right, guys, so we've officially given the car the first coat all the way around. Looking a bit funky, but <laughs> it's okay. Hopefully, it'll fix itself with uh, the other coats. We do see a little bit streaks, but we're going to give it some time to dry up first. And then uh, we should be good to go, to be honest. This is just the first coat. We're still going to do another two more coats, maybe even a fourth one. But uh, yeah, guys, so far, so good. I don't see any drips or runs. This that's not a drip or run. That's uh, just from previously. Why well, I sanded it all down, but it's all good there. So yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the angles. I mean, this is my first time ever using a tripod like that, so I gotta remember, you know, to move it around and give you guys some better angles. But you know, only time will help me, um, you know, get used to that whole stuff. But yeah, guys. Once again, I, I you guys saw a dog. I apologize, you know, these guys are really loud. <laughs>
All right, guys, so bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. We are down to our last can right here. Are we close to being done? Nope. We still need a... Um, this left side is all... Well, most of it is good, but all the other panels that were different colors, the ones that were replaced, they still need maybe about like two more coats to like really uh, blend them in real good. Uh, let me show you guys. So it's coming along nice. I'm not going to lie. We do have some mistakes. I will point them out in just a second. Um, so if you guys remember, the trunk was blue. It's still looking a little bit different from the bumper and the rear panel and stuff but you know i feel like two more coats should be just enough to um, blend everything in but we only have one more can so we might have to uh, come back later guys i will upload this video but um you might have to come back later and fix uh you know once we get more paint and stuff and we do have some runs right here little tiny ones you can barely see them to be honest but i am i'm, I'm still gonna paint over all this blend it all in and then once um it's all dried and cured we're gonna sand this down and just repaint it but it's coming along guys i'll be back with you guys i'm not gonna record this last coat because my phone's about to die so yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish this can and i'll be back with you guys with the final update I will upload this video that way you guys have something to watch and you guys know what i'm doing but yeah guys stay tuned all right guys so i already went ahead and used up that last can give you guys a quick walk through you can see it's still wet here so that's why you can see a lot of the streaks a lot of it they come out good though um i know for sure i'm still gonna need more paint so i'll probably need like two more cans so what I'm gonna do is um, tomorrow, as soon as I get off work, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna um, pick up two more cans and uh, give the whole car like two more coats. I'll probably need like three cans for that to give the car another two more coats. But yeah, guys, so far it's not too bad. I mean, this is the first time I've ever rattle canned a car. Keep in mind, I am using rattle cans yeah so it's all good you know it's all it's all part of the game you know gotta learn make mistakes get better over time but yeah guys um i'm gonna upload this video that way you guys know what's going on and then tomorrow i'll record a whole other new video once i'm finishing this up but yeah guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned um you know Keep a lookout for the next videos coming out soon so you guys can see the finished product. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace.